Aloha, friends, and welcome. My name is Tutu Signs, and I am a food forest co-creator and also I'm offering a new course called Food Forest University. And the reason I named it Food Forest University is because I discovered by living in an old forest that a a garden like this is a unified community and it's full of biodiversity. So I thought, well, it's a uni unit of biodiversity. It's a university. And also it's a place where I am hosting courses to teach uh, all the things that I've learned about food forests and how to create, co-create with nature to grow infinite streams of abundance. So um, this is not associated with any public or private university. This is just a community forum for food forest co-creators to come together uh, to study how to create a food forest and to give each other help and um, and just to go through the process of how to create a food forest. And if you have a food forest garden already going, there are courses in this school that will teach you a lot of fun things also as well about uh, creating hair care and body care products, house cleaning products, um, fertilizers, all kinds of fun auxiliary things uh, for those of us who already have a garden. But the primary focus that I want you to get is how to grow a food forest. And a food forest is a small or large garden. Um, it's a home garden. It's, it can be in your backyard, your front yard. The beauty of the food forest garden versus like a lawn with some flowers around it is, well, so many different benefits. Um, in a food forest, you can grow uh, stacking in layers, vertical layers. So you can have your underground layer of herbs, uh, roots, you know, your carrots and onions and um, that uh, potatoes, that kind of layer that also grows and creeps along the ground or stays close to the ground. Then you have like flowering uh, annuals uh, that grow on a, um, a lower layer. Then you have a shrub layer with sort of bigger plants and you have a low tree area with like citrus or small fruit trees and then you have canopy layers of say uh, palm trees or taller nut trees and so you're stacking all of these different uh, plants in a smaller space so it's space efficient and then it's also time efficient because once you get the food forest rolling it becomes its own self-perpetuating system. So it's a really fun and easy way to grow a garden in your yard, whether your yard is small or large. And why do we um, prefer growing in, we prefer growing in the soil over growing in um, say pots or metal bins or boxes. Ideally, we want our plants to be able to get in touch with the living soil and a food forest in food forest university we're going to learn a lot about the importance of the soil life which is your fungi microbes you know the earthworms the arthropods all the little creepy crawly insects that are down there they're breaking up the um the organic materials like leaves and um, twigs and stems and anything that litters the forest floor, they decompose it and turn it back into food, which then it's in the soil and the plants are connected to like the mycorrhizal fungi, they're getting that food right in their roots. And then in, in exchange, the plants are gathering that sunlight energy from the sun through their leaves with photosynthesis and bringing all of that sunlight energy down into the plants and they are exchanging that for the soil nutrients. So it's a big, huge system. 
and it's a perfectly designed system. And we are learning to tap into it to create these easy to care for, infinitely abundant gardens. They also clean the air. Um, the leaves, well, like when wind or blows, the uh, say there's fog in the air, the fog will stick to the leaves and eventually the, that fog will condense. And if you study a plant's design, you can see that that water will travel all the way down to the roots, which is really cool. So by having more plants on your land, you're getting more water down into your soil. And also those soil dwelling fungi are so important. And I've been reading uh, Mycelium Running by Paul Stamets, where he talks about mycoremediation, which is something that we all need to be concerned about right now with um, like radiation or soil contaminants getting in our soils. The fungi elements, the fungi kingdom can transform those um, chemical lab produced things or radiation into their smaller parts and diffuse their toxicity so that they can be used by the plants again. So again, it's this beautiful system. We are not making it up ourselves. It's the way nature designed the system to be. We are tapping into the, um, into the wisdom of the forest and learning to co-create with it. So, but we, instead of it being just a wild forest, we are getting to create, um, we're planting the plants that we love to grow. So we plant, we pick out the trees that we love that grow in our area, that grow our fruits that we love, our nuts that we love, um, all of the things that you could, you can make a, we'll be making a wish list of all the things that you would like to see growing in your garden. And we have that all organized in a spreadsheet list for you, or a spreadsheet template for you. Um, so we'll be going through that. We'll be learning to identify some of the, all the plants that are growing in your garden, because one of the things I found out from living in a food forest is a lot of the plants are intelligent and benevolent and they bring things to us that we didn't even know we needed. But since they're quiet, we don't recognize it. We just generally think, oh, I didn't plant that, so it must not be good. But we're going to find out that nature is much more benevolent, kind, and giving to us than we ever dreamed of. So... A food forest system is really awesome. You can grow them anywhere you are on planet Earth. You could look up Sepp Holzer. He's grown his on a mountaintop in the uh, Austrian Alps. Uh, Jeff Lawton grows food forests in the desert. Um, the Greening the Desert Project by John D. Liu shows how many people have done this already, where they took a deserted area and brought it back to full life and even have uh, pools of water like ponds and lakes. So it's entirely possible to grow a food forest wherever you are. There was a man who, I think by himself, he's called the, the tree man or something. I forget what his name was. He's on YouTube, but he covered a whole island with trees, which then anchors that soil and anchors that island. So there's so much possibility and so much fun out there for all of us to participate in when we're tapping into nature's infinite abundance. Ah, so, and another huge thing that we will be doing is, um, we'll be creating these streams of food that last for generations like the garden that I'm living in right now, the gardener planted this these trees 60 years ago and they're still providing food, um, nuts and fruits. And then they're also providing habitat for the wildlife and the birds just love it. Every morning, the birds start singing just as dawn comes and it's like so joyous. They're happy to be there. And it feels so good to create a habitat for the wildlife, not just for us, but for all the wildlife. And the thought that these gardens can live for generations 
decades, maybe hundreds of years, and they can spread through seeds and through cuttings. It's such a beautiful stream of loveliness for us to be able to tap into on planet Earth. So we're, we end up with healthier soil, healthier air, healthier water, healthier wildlife, and healthier people as we're eating a lot of fresh, delicious, nutrient-dense food that comes right out of our garden. And so one of the mathematical proofs that I did on this a long time ago to calculate the return on investment from planting a seed was um, planting one lettuce seed and then noticing after three to six months how it had all these clusters of little white fluffy flowers. And when you'd pull off one of those flowers and sort of crumble it in your gently into your hand, all these little seeds would fall out. And there'd be maybe 10 or 20 seeds in each little puffy cluster. And so I calculated, well, I counted some of these seeds. Then I estimated, I counted the clusters. I estimated how many uh, clusters there were. And then I, um, I pulled all of those off of the, the lettuce plant just to, um, to see what was going on there. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best return on investment I've ever seen. Um, it's like, it's approaching infinity. You plant one seed, you get a thousand seeds. And then after a few days after I had pulled off all the flowers off the lettuce plant, the lettuce plant grew new flowers and new seeds. So it was so much, it was really, could have taken me way too long to count it all, but I can see from that event or from planting a carrot, um, or uh, many, many different types of annual plants. You plant one seed, you get thousands of seeds. So this is a return on investment that you can't get from the stock market or from any other investment that I know of. This is the, in my opinion, the best investment you can make with your time and energy. And you don't even need much money to make this investment. So and it's a very safe, long-term investment. So let's see what else. Oh yes, I like this part. Food forest sounds like food for us, doesn't it? So I like to say that food forest, food for us. Yay. And so my friend, your food forest is waiting for you to plant and grow something you love. Every time you're you eat your free food instead of purchasing food from the grocery store, you're saving money. When you're saving water in the soil, as we will learn to do in our courses, you will be saving money on water bills. Um, you'll be breathing fresher air. You'll be breathing fragrances. You'll be hearing birds sing and, and nurturing wildlife. Even the little bunnies and even the gophers are helpful in the garden. And I'll explain how and why that's true. So I'm offering you the chance to learn the eight step path to creating a food forest in Food Forest University, along with several other courses that teach you how to create your own hair care products from your garden produce, um, household cleaning products, um, pain relieving products, and, and many more things and I'm adding new classes as we go. So this course is your key to gaining food freedom, health freedom, and financial freedom. 